Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the January release by the Don Diva. These are available right now, so in the description box below, I will link the Don Diva site, Instagram, and Facebook page, and then I'll also leave my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. I didn't count, but I think there are nine, maybe eight polishes to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Capricorn AF, and this is described as an ambitious amount of shifting purple, blue, and hints of pink, and a willful helping of scattered hollow and hollow flakes. So here's our first coat of Capricorn AF. This one does start out on the sheer side, but it does build up well for me in two coats. Per the usual, a stunning formula from Don Diva, no running, pulling, or staining. You are going to want top coat because it dries dull, but nothing in here is difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Up next we have Garnet and this is described as a deep red polish with various sized cherry hollow glitters. Here's our first coat of Garnet. This one also starts out pretty sheer but it does build up well in two to three coats depending on your application and how much glitter and depth you want. You are going to want top coat to finish this off. It is going to dry with some texture because of this glitter and also because of this glitter it is going to be difficult to remove. So I would recommend a thicker glitter eating glossy top coat which you can also get off of the Don Diva website. So there is three coats. Next up we have Brat Face and this is described as an iris base with a huge helping of shifty flakes and a heaping pile of original unicorn pea for green to gold shifts. Here's our first coat of Brat Face. This one is so beautiful. The flakes that are in here stand out so well. Again, no running, pulling, or staining on this one. You are definitely going to want top coat. It is going to dry on the dull side and with some texture, but removal on this one is easy. So there's two coats. Up next we have Pinkity Drinkity and this is described as a pink polish with four times the helping of the original Unicorn Pea Pigment. Here's our first coat of Pinkity Drinkity. This is so fun. This is such a soft, dainty, delicate manicure, but at the same time it's got this super shifty shimmer that changes in every different lighting and these red flakes are so beautiful. You might want to go in for three coats on this one and definitely some top coat. Up next we have Duck Duck Goose and this is described as a micro glitter with blue and purple and hot pink glitter. Here's our first coat of Duck Duck Goose. How fun is this glitter mixture against this base color? It is such a beautiful, stunning combination of colors here. Good formula, not too thick or too thin. You are going to want top coat. It is glitter. It is going to dry textured and removal will be difficult. Up next we have Missy Manifesto and this is described as a gauzy white crelly with cotton candy color shifts of pink and blue. There's also hollow flakes in here. I am going to show this on its own and as a topper. Here's our first coat of Missy Manifesto. Formula is wonderful. I love when Dana puts out these like shears that I can wear in one to two coats and have some visible nail line but have something shifty and cute on my nails at the same time. Here's three coats of this and it does build up to pretty much full opacity. You are going to want top coat solely because it dries dull but nothing in this is going to be difficult to remove and then here it is over a teal base which I love both ways. I think this is a gorgeous combination here over the teal as well. So there's one coat. Up next we have Sugar Coated Bitch and this is described as a sheer pink nectar shade with shifty flakes and the green to gold original unicorn pea pigment. Again, I'm going to show this one on its own and as a topper. Here's our first coat of Sugar Coated Bitch and this is another kind of sheer that I love from Dana. She does these so, so well. I can wear these on one coat and be so happy with them. 
these flakes that are in here are beautiful it is nice and shifty on the nail formula is very smooth you are going to want top coat it is going to dry dull and slightly textured removal isn't going to be overly difficult but it is going to require some scrubbing so here's one coat of it over black i love this both on its own and as a topper i don't have a preferred way of wearing this one so there's one coat Up next we have Mint Horeo, and this is described as a white curly, positively stuffed with green and black micro hex glitters and various sized square glitters. This one also has copper to gold to pink sauce. I think that means shimmer. Here's our first cut of Mint Horeo cookie. Again, a smooth formula to work with. You get a great amount of glitter out and they spread out nice and easily across the nail. Very smooth formula. You will want top coat. It is glitter. It is going to dry textured and because of this glitter, it's also going to be on the difficult side to remove. So if you hate removing glitter, you can use a peel off base coat. So there's three coats. Then I wanted to share this one as well. This is a custom she made for me. It's called Timberland and this is a Prugly Green loaded with Unicorn Pea and these beautiful little red micro flakes. And here's our first coat of Timberland. How beautiful is this? These red flakes really give it a nice flare without being the forefront of the polish. Shifty, hollow, gorgeous, beautifulness on the nails, a smooth formula. You will want top coat on this one. It is gonna dry dull and removal on this one is easy. So there's two coats. This was hands down one of my favorite releases that Don Diva has done that I have received. I loved every single thing from A to Z in this collection. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection, but I did have a few standouts to look at. Uh, the first one is obviously Timberland. This was a custom for me. She did say that if there was enough interest and if I was okay with it, uh, she would make a batch of this. It might be slightly different, but that she could do it. But this is so stunning i love this polish and i am super excited that like my name is on this kind of color so really really loved that one the next one being duck duck goose when she does these micro glitters and it's not often they're always really really good um and then this one has like the dark versus the light the juxtaposition of the two things and it works together so well i really loved this one on and i can't wait to be able to wear this one as soon as i'm caught up with swatching um duck duck goose was fantastic the next one being mint horio cookie obviously a crelly um and then i love the glitter combination that's in here i don't know what these tiny like bright turquoise glitters are but i feel like i need them in absolutely everything it goes so well against the black glitters and it works together so nicely and then the last one would be the sugar coated mine doesn't have a label but it was a sugar coated something maybe or another I'll leave it on the screen but I liked this one both as a topper and on its own it was very flattering very beautiful so those were the standouts in this collection for me and guys that is it let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time